Hello everybody and welcome to day number nine of our build your handstand challenge. Let's get started straight away with our warm up. Let's start today straight away here on the floor. in a four point position and I would like you now here in this four point position to just gently walk the hands here left and right pushing into the floor with your fingertips left and right shifting the weight in the shoulders Okay, now just plant your hands firmly into the ground here and gently rock back and front, pushing the fingertips into the floor and then let's shift side to side, right, left, right, left, right, left and then just gently in a circle. and change direction. Gently exploring your wrist mobility here. And then let's stay in this four point position and bring the hand here to the front. Reach to the front as much as possible. Really push into the floor with the opposite arm. Reach a bit higher than horizontal. Come back down. Let's do the other side. Reach to the front and reach higher than the horizontal line here. Hold it and then come back down. One more time, reach. You can reach a bit higher and then come back down and reach and come back down. Now just come back sitting here on your knees while I just uh, explain a few things. So we are trying to reach to the front without opening up to the side just yet. And I would also really like you now to pull the stomach in towards the spine, front of the stomach in towards the spine as we do these exercises. So let's come back to the four point position and repeat this with these new focus points in mind. Reach to the front. Do not open the chest much to the side. Keep the stomach pulled in. Hold one, two, three, four, five, and come back down. So I'm pointing my thumb up towards the ceiling here. Hand is sideways on and reach to the front with the left. One, two, three, four, five, and come back down to the floor. And one more time, reach to the front. Don't allow your chest to open, but Lift your arm. One, two, three, four, five. And left side. One more time. Reach to the front. Keep the stomach pulled in for one, two, three, four, five. Come back down to the floor. Now bring the hand here to the side. Hold it in a precise 90 degree angle here for one, two, three, four, five and then reach a bit further into a 45 degree angle for one two three four five come back down to the floor and left hand same thing really purely lift the hand up into a 90 degree angle one two three four five reach up into the corner 45 degree angle one two three four five and come back down. Now let's create a big circle leading with the elbow like we did standing up. Big circle leading with the elbow with the right, with the left, with the right, with the left. Two more times right and left and right and left. Okay, very good. Give the knees a little break. We are going to come back to this position. Let's come back here to lying on your back and knees are propped up. 
just gently move the knees from side to side here and take a moment to enjoy the flatness of your back your spine against the floor okay great and from here now take the hands here down to your hips palms facing down now take the arms above the he head and try to not lift the lower back off the floor keep the chest flat and then bring the arms back to the hips this time lift the shoulder blades now lift the hands up here to your knees hover them by the side of your knees for one two three four five come back down and let's repeat this two more times arms come above the head engage the core take the hands down to your hips bring the hands up here to your knees and the shoulder blades come off the floor for one two three four five come back down to the floor arms above the head pull the stomach in towards the spine hands down to your hips shoulder blades lift off and hands to your knees two three four five bring everything back down to the floor now push the left foot into the floor the lower back into the floor as well lift the right leg straighten the knee and hold for one two three four five six seven eight nine ten down to the floor other side really make sure you push down into the floor flat lower back on the ground lift the left straighten the knee point your toe hold for one two three four five six seven eight nine ten both legs down both knees up and the shins go further away from you and you push the lower back into the floor now hold it here for one two three four five six seven eight nine ten down to the floor very good now pull the right leg in the right knee in towards you take hold of your leg here uh, at the side or behind your th your thigh flex the foot already now push the heel up towards the ceiling trying to straighten your knee as much as possible hold for one two three four five and come back down other leg Pull the knee in towards you, left side. Take hold of your leg behind the thigh. Flex the foot. Kick the heel up towards the ceiling here. Really straighten the leg as much as you can. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, come back down. Very, very good. Okay. And come and meet me again in the four point position. And from here now we're going to kick the leg out the right leg first and before anything else happens i want you to just look at your right knee is it straight straighten it point the toe keep it there really push the shoulders into the floor stomach pulls in towards the spine hold it with me for 10 seconds one two three four five six seven eight nine ten very good other leg kick the left leg out straight behind you turn to have a look at your knee is it straight straighten it point your toe hold here for one two three four five six seven eight nine ten come back down to the floor push yourself back up onto the feet into a squat just stay here for two breaths. Now straighten the legs as much as you can and then gently roll up, really rolling up vertebra by vertebra, coming back up to standing. Excellent. Let's do our shoulder opening exercise here with the wall hands in front of you on the wall the hip 
the feet are hip width apart parallel adjust your stance so that you can then allow the shoulders here to sink low as low as possible and hold it Okay, and come back out of the stretch. Now, come back to your mat. Reach the arms up high, as high as you can. Elevate the shoulders up to your ears. Draw the stomach in towards the spine. Hold for one, two, three, four, five. Come back down. Stretch the hands out to the side, width across the back. Really feel your arms growing out of your upper back. For one, two, three, four, five. One more time up. Really already engage the stomach. Reach up, up towards your ears. Make sure that your elbows are straight. Hold and hold and hold. Release to the side. Reach, 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 reach. And relax. All right. Let's meet again here on the floor. Now kick the right leg to the back. And uh, the left foot is propped up like this. Lift the knee off the floor. Really push the shoulders into the floor. Hold for one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come back down to the floor. Change legs. Kick the left leg back. Right toes are propped up. Feel the right knee off the floor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come back down to the floor. All right. So now, um, Walk the hands a little bit further to the front here as you would in a normal four point position. And now I would like you to round your back here already. Round the back and come further front until your shoulders are directly aligned above the wrists. And then draw the hips back, open the shoulders to the floor. So we will repeat this a few times. And do adjust the distance between the hands and the knees if you need to. Now here, try to initiate this movement with a round back. So feel like somebody's pulling you up here, picking you up behind the shoulder blades, rounding the back as you move your shoulders to align with the wrists. Stomach is pulled in towards the spine, really pushing into the floor. Draw the hips back. Open the shoulders. Initiate with a round back. Someone really imagine somebody picks you up here like a cat behind the shoulder blades. <laughs> like you'd pick up a young cat. Although you pick them up in the neck. And align the shoulders and then come back here to open. One more time. And round back and then align the shoulders. Draw the stomach in towards the spine. Okay. Sit back on your heels. On time, open the arms into a diagonal. Allow the chest to open to the front here. And hold it. Okay. Let's take it into our mini handstand. And peel the feet off the floor. Round the back. Round. Push up to your ears. Step the feet in. Push the hips up as high as you can. Hold for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Back down to the floor. Place the left hand next to your left knee and create. Three big shoulder circles here with your right arm. One, two, and three. Right hand next to right knee. 
and with the left arm big circles one two three one more time mini handstand and peel the knees off the floor already round the back already round the back push the shoulders up to your ears look in between your hands really push really align the shoulders here over the wrists one two three four five six seven eight nine ten very good and then roll up to standing one more time roll the shoulders back for one two three four five big arm circles for one two three four five let's come back to our mini handstand and this time I would like you to lift the back leg as well so let me show you first we we'll push up to the mini handstand and then this time I would like you to lift your bent leg here as high as you can staying over the wrists with the shoulders right so mm, quite naturally what happens is that you will probably rock a bit further back but make sure you stay there and you keep that alignment so we are building kind of like the root of the handstand which is the torso and the shoulders being very tightly connected really pushing down into the ground that's what you need as a base for your handstand and because it's so important, I like to repeat it in every session. Fingers are spread, the elbows are straight, and look in between your hands, all right? So let's just do the base, this, this tree trunk of your handstand, one more time uh, together. So you've got your hands on the floor, fingers spread wide. You are looking in between the thumbs. Keep your eyes fixed in between the thumbs. And now out of the corner of your eye, you can see where your shoulders are. So if you just want to take the gaze off the center ones and look at your shoulders and just make a mental note in your head what that looks like when they are aligned over the wrists. Yeah? Because this will be in your peripheral vision, in the corner of your eye, you are going to see your shoulders and you need to develop an awareness for where they are when they are in line. So now bring your gaze back to the floor and then push up here into the mini handstand. And as you get here, one more time, take your gaze off the center, check on your shoulder, look at your shoulders and you will see whether they are above the wrists quite obvious when they are not or when they are too far front yeah if you're unsure you can film yourself as well and now lift the right leg up as high as possible keeping that position look in between your thumbs look in between your thumbs <laughs> one two three four five six seven eight nine ten come back down Okay, great. Swing the legs round here to the front. We're going to repeat this on the other side. So you will already uh, have noticed uh, that part of handstand training is repetition. I'm going to keep repeating the same cues until they are stuck in your head uh, and they will replay like a, like a disc that is uh, skipping. <laughs> okay, um, if you find it hard to sit like that, Put the hands behind you and take and ease this 90 degree angle a little bit. Flex your feet, straighten your knees, relax. Flex the feet, straighten your knees, relax. Okay, so I'm gonna gradually just introduce more challenges now. Try to sit up a little bit straighter with a very straight spine. So if you've been here at 90 degrees, lean a little bit to the front. Not with a round back, with a straight back. Navel goes towards the floor first. And from here, same thing. Flex your feet, straighten your knees. 
point your feet, straighten your knees, relax. Go a little bit further front, S flex the feet, straighten the knees, point the feet, straighten the knees, relax. One last time, go to the front as far as you can without curling here your lower back, without this. Staying very straight, front as far as possible, flex, straighten the knees, point, straighten the knees. Okay, great. Let's do the left side, left foot mini handstand. So I don't mind whether you turn your hips uh, sideways or whether you keep them square in this one. Peel the knees off the floor, push them into the floor and align your shoulders over the wrists. Push the hips up very high. Lift the left leg up as high as possible towards the ceiling, keeping it bent for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come back down to the floor, sit back on your heels, reach to the side, flex your hands. And let's finish off the class in the similar way we started. From here now in a four point position, allow the chest to sink in and then try to reach to the front with your chest, creating a wave. So it feels like your chest is creating this circle in between your shoulders. Your own version of this, feel free to bend the elbows, make this as small or as big as you like. Create as much wavy movement here in the chest as possible. So you dip down low with the chest, dive through, and then you curve here in the top part of the movement. So it feels like diving through the arms here. Let's reverse it. So you start with the curve of the back, go to the front and then you dive the chest down as you come back to the curve. Wave across the spine, soft wave across the spine. Gentle movement. Okay, great. Now sit back on your heels and with your left hand reach towards the, to uh, the right corner of your mat or your room and keep reaching as you lower the shoulder a little bit closer to the ground. And you can prop the right hand up by your side. Keep reaching. Other side, same thing. Keep Reach towards the left hand corner of the mat with your right hand and allow the shoulder to come closer to the ground here. Great, and come to a sitting position here. And now fold your chin to your chest, sitting up really tall. Now, if you want to add to this then just place your hand on the back of your uh, head here to add a gentle weight. Very gently, not pushing down but rather adding the weight of your hand to this stretch. And come back up, sit up really tall. Let's do the same thing to the side. So first you bend the You'd bring the right uh, ear to the right shoulder and then you just uh, place the hand here on the top part of your head for a, a gentle weight. Don't pull your head, just added weight. Make sure you still sit up tall, reach towards the floor with the other shoulder. Other side, same thing. Tall, up and over, gentle bend in the neck. Add the hand for more weight. And come back up. And that's it again for today. Thank you very much again for practicing 
and let me know again how it goes and whether it's hot or cold where you're practicing. I always love to hear uh, where you are and how you came to practice here with me. I have a lovely day and I shall see you tomorrow. <laughs>